Kuodun. Welcome to spring inside Oyotunji. And the new year has passed and we celebrate 10,050 years of culture. In the Yoruba tradition, the culture, the people from southwestern Nigeria, the whole diaspora, and especially here in the kingdom of Oyotunji. It was a fabulous February as we're seated here today on a cool afternoon after the Festival of Warriors. We want to give you a little review of a great fundraiser, an idea we think hopefully will spread to your city in Key West, Florida. It was a grand time for the Ajo Alade premiere, this uh, new release from Great Benin Films, director Ikoko Agbo, on the big screen, on the marquee. It was Ajo Alade, a wonderful night in February, followed by another wonderful reggae uh, party given by the Blue Heaven down in Key West, good friends of the kingdom, and they had a silent auction. It was wonderful. People enjoyed it. You'll see scenes. It'll be good. So it gets just more interesting. Stay tuned. Take a look. I watch inside of your country because it's beautiful. I love the colors inside of your country. I watch inside of your country. I watch inside of your country. It's beautiful. I love the colors. So now, here was the big return of the Alba to the Key West area. And what a time it was to be walking down Duval Street to the Tropic Cinema in a Junkanoo Parade, a Caribbean bohemian tradition that is coming alive. This parade is also seen in many of Ikoko Agbo's other features and they're on stilts. It's a wonderful time, a wonderful opening of the film premiere from Great Benin Films, Ajo Alade. It was a grand night also in the after party to the premiere of Ajo Alade in Key West. Key West All-Stars took the rhythms of the Caribbean and the rhythms of Key West into the souls of everyone who attended. A silent auction, people bought art, people were enthused about the information of the kingdom of Oyotunji and their king returned. As you know, the Aba was in a museum venture there, was in great cultural events there. We've done pieces on the Higgs Beach, the ancestors, and so now here was the big return of the Aba to the Key West area. Welcome to Inside Oyotunji. Inside Oyotunji. Inside Oyotunji. I watch Inside Oyotunji as much as I can. Forty years after the founding of Oyotunji African Village, we have finally arrived at the conversation of having honorary citizens in our kingdom. With a program outside of Baltimore area, here's a conversation we recently held with Efumbemi Ekulona on how that might become a reality. Take a look. That Oyotunji should be available to people even who could not reside here in this wonderful low country of Beaufort, South Carolina. He suggested to us that we make citizenship in Oyotunji available to citizens worldwide because Oyotunji has the distinct phenomenon of being the only, perhaps, uh, perhaps even the first, certainly in the Western Hemisphere, the only kingdom established without bloodshed. And we also know that a deliberate effort must be made to connect continental Africans with those who are practicing African traditions in the United States. Applying for citizenship means that you would provide certain basic information and that you would pledge to provide financial support to the kingdom as it may be occasioned by your income. And thus, uh, we, we together design for your Tunji citizenship as an option for people who want to show both their connection with Africa and their connection with Africans in America. I watch inside Oyotunji. 
a very informative show. I watch Inside of Yotunji because I love to see my African people in America doing their thing. Thank you. And next on this edition of Inside Oyotunji, we speak with the head of Egbe Akinkanju, the National African Men's Society here in the Kingdom of Oyotunji, Chief Alagba Olaitan. Egbe Akinkanju, the National Men's Society at Oyotunji African Village. We have a series of tests and challenges that will test the mettle of our young men and older males that want to test themselves to see if in fact they do qualify. You know, the rites of passage is something to really bring out your true manhood, the discipline, the real values and so forth. Oh, you go in the military to get discipline, you go to prison to get discipline, you join, join fraternities look, looking for something. This manhood is being in order, being disciplined, that's being a man. You know, the rites of passage is something to really bring out your true manhood, the discipline, the real values, and so forth. Any nation or community rests on the shoulders to a great extent of the men. As the wisdom of Africa tells us, men build nations, women preserve nations, our children become the nation. So when a nation is successful, they will look to the males. When a community fails, they will look to the males. And of course, in our tradition, we know that we must work hand in hand with our women because no male can be successful or even exist without the female. So how do you learn these things? A rites of passage is, is the path. We must go back to our ancient culture and retrieve all of those things that have been successful for us in the past. The discipline to us, however, in the urban city is the most essential element. Should we be living a ghetto life? Should we be practicing these things that become sources of crime and uh, stocking of the prisons? This is the time for us to say, let's go back to our ancestral tradition where ethics, morals, and honor were the guides, in fact, the pillars of manhood and womanhood in a decent society. These are things that will transform their lives and will transform the person because the rites, rituals, and ceremonies, the tests and challenges are designed to transform the individual. Many thanks and an honorable mention to our supporters at Glory International Magazine, a fantastic cover article interview of a pilgrimage to Africa in America, an interview, exclusive interview we might add, with the king of Oyutunji African Village. Get your copy today. It is a valuable collector's item for any library, just $10, and it's our summer season fundraiser. Join that support today. Get your copy by calling 706-755-5445. We're looking forward to hearing from you today. Well, that's a wrap for another edition of Inside OU Tunji. So glad you could join us, and certainly the conversation is open on uh, the search for manhood in America. This is an upcoming piece from uh, Great Benin Films that we hope that you'll be looking for in the coming months. It'll be released shortly over the summer, and uh, you've seen just a bit of it from our review of the Ogun Festival, the Warriors Festival here in OU Tunji. And again... Go on to www.oyutunjiafricanvillage.org for more information on our upcoming Oshun Festival, the Festival of Ancestors at the end of May. And stay tuned for the next edition of Inside Oyutunji. Just a few final words from our Department of Tourism on how you can make the pilgrimage to North America's oldest authentic African village. Call us today at 843-846-8900 and ask about our group discounts and special rates for children. Call us today, 843-846-8900.